and Katie are just opposite. There is no reason for them to be friends. Neither of them are ever going to think they're wrong. To keep up, Katie tell was me just again. a woman stating so like Katie Maloney is apologizing. What's that? Nose ring side. No drinks? The nose ring side. Oh, the nose, is that why? No, no, it's just my hairline. It's my one insecurity. One? My main. <laughs> kidding, kidding. <laughs> the rest aren't really physical. So this is called makeup over makeup. Like we're supposed to makeup. make up while doing each other's makeup. This yeah. should have been six months ago then. <laughs> well, I feel like, no, I feel like we have said we wanted to get to a better place than yeah. we have been. So it's like, I feel like we've been, like not forcing or rushing a process. Over the last six months, I know at least for me, tell me if you feel differently, but I feel like I understand more now than maybe I have in the last several years or just in the past in general, kind of more what you need from a friendship. And last year was obviously a rough year. What would you say I need out of friendship? I know you need loyalty and you need someone to have your back. Like you need to be stood up for and you need to feel like you have girls, girls around you, which I know in the past it's like, oh, well, I'm more of a guy's girl. I've been wounded mm -hmm. in the past when I have. It's like borderline trust issues. Mm -hmm. So asking for help, opening up, being, yeah, just being vulnerable. Like it's just not a comfortable place for me to be in. If one of my closest friends has beef with someone, I got beef with them. Right. And that's how, that's how my loyalty works. No, I know. And I feel like I understand that more now when all this stuff happened with Tom and Ariana, it was like, okay, we need to come together for her and put our stuff to, aside. I feel like we just got better with communication. Ooh, this blend's really nice, actually. I think we kind of, when all of the scandal ball stuff came out, we were like, okay, let's just like put our shelf side. all of this stuff. Yeah. And then like, you know, we've just been like sort of doing like our thing and like, it's been like hanging out and like, you know, whatever. Just go right <laughs> <laughs> Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Ooh. No, it's actually really, really nice. pretty. I like it a lot. When me and Saucy like made up, I didn't have an opportunity to prove to you that there was enough room in my life for the both of you. We made up, Saucy and I, and then within five minutes, you're like, and you've like- You don't need me anymore. Yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't have that opportunity. Yeah. And I didn't even understand that in the moment because I was so in my head with my insecurities and it was just like, we were so close. And then when you had your old best friend back, I was like, oh, okay, she doesn't need me anymore because I get so in my head and I spiral. Like, yeah, just with the, the no response. I feel like I want to do purple lace on you. Okay. With your eyes. Okay. Right? Sure. Of course, I am guilty of going into the people pleaser category because I never put myself first and I try to always see what everyone else needs first. I don't get offended in the way that I did in the past because now I understand more of why you don't respond quickly and what you need and sometimes you just need your alone time. Big ass mood, some big ass lashes, and I'm trying not to poke your eyeball out. Let me ask you this. If it wasn't for Scandaval, do you think we would have made up? I think we would have had a harder road mm -hmm. to make up because I think there was a lot of stuff that happened with the divorce and everything that I was going through. That was real to me. Last year, I did put a lot of weight on one drunken conversation we had in Vegas where you, honest to God, came off as the happiest you had been since I met you. Like, you were thriving, you had moved on, and I was like, hell yeah, seeing Schwartz so down, and I felt like I definitely did step in 
more for him because I felt like he needed more at the time. Obviously, lines were crossed and I shouldn't have. We both needed it. Maybe you were even trying to convince yourself, if I tell everyone else I'm this happy, then maybe I'll become that happy. I felt like, to me, I was being neutral, but then I saw that you felt it differently and then called me some names and then that hurt. I, I definitely, it's, like I said, there was absolutely elements of me just kind of wanting to like, like that, that was part of my healing process. Also knowing how I am where I'm not gonna like ask people for help. I'm not going to like be walking around like a sad handwritten note. It's the same goes for like wanting to tell people how I'm actually doing like in, like in the thick of all of it. We're gonna use this. Setting spray? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, micro fine. I love a fine setting spray. Okay. Yeah. Close. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. Mm. Does it smell good? It smells really good. Beautiful. Thanks. We hurt each mm. other in different ways. I hurt you in a way where you felt like I wasn't there for you and I didn't care how you were doing and I only cared about him when that was never the case because I did assume that you were so much happier and then he wasn't and I just felt- but you know what they say about ass assuming things? You assumed wrong. Yeah, I know. And watching it back, this is I- This don't assume things about anyone. 100% what, like, and I assuming... learned so many lessons from that last year. I also was, I felt like last year in a place where I was trying to put myself first. That blocked out me seeing someone else's struggles if they weren't verbalizing them. And I know you don't like to get emotional and you don't like to go to that place, but sometimes now for the future, I'm going to push you a little more because I want you to feel safe. I and don't like to get there on my own, but I need to be pushed there. Yeah. Because yeah. I, because I like, it's uncomfortable for me to, <laughs> don't. Girl, I'm bigger than you. <laughs> I could take you. <laughs> I can't make a fist. Once we had conversations and you explained so much more of that to me, I just wished we could have gone back in time because I would have done things so differently and just pushed you more. Too. Respond. I think it's nice. Yeah? Here. All right. I mean, it's, it's not your normal. I oh mean, God. it's not, listen, I could, I could. It's a very glowy, dewy finish. Okay. All right, make me gorgeous. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. I think how you want to constantly see the good in people, and I'm like, stop doing that. After Scandival, I don't see the good in people anymore. But I'm I, like, you're shady, you're this, you're that. Like, you I have so many trust issues now. <laughs> Yeah, because well, I want to often tell people like how to do things and how to. <laughs> yeah. Because it, it's coming from a good place, but I forget that people need to like often just figure that out for themselves. Um, I mean, I take accountability for all my rage texts, but. I feel like do now I also them? though, no. your rage text is one of the things that just makes you you. Like it's like a rite of passage at this point. <laughs> do you feel like I've shown to be a better friend this year? Yes. I understand what it's like when you have a long-standing friendship with somebody. It can be hard to let go, but I think it's sometimes exactly like what needs to happen. I'm currently struggling in that department. Mm -hmm. In hindsight, though, it, <laughs> I'm not grateful for a scandal, but like, because I feel like we probably, I don't know, we wouldn't have talked until we started filming again now. Yeah. So it was almost like a, an icebreaker just to like get us in a room without having to talk about everything at least. Yeah, it, it did force conversations sooner and it also forced us to come together and put our stuff aside sooner than we would have because it was like at the end of the day in March, our didn't matter. That was not important. Just being there for Ariana was. Yeah. There's been so much love between you and I, and I feel like that's why we've had such explosive fights mm -hmm. is because we do care so deeply and maybe don't always express that in the right way. But over the past 10 years, have understood that more. After watching back last season and seeing everything you went through, it literally broke my heart that I didn't push more and ask more if you were okay. And I didn't know how bad you needed that until I watched it back. Like I cried watching mm -hmm. last season. It 
literally yeah, it's, was heartbreaking. You can repair or it can destroy. Or that's true. Because I go back and I see something like, oh, so that's, you were telling me one thing and that's what you were actually right. saying. So no, that's a good point. I don't know. I mean, it, it does, it, distor- it distorts your reality because you have one version of what's happening. And it's like, do you want to actually know what's happening or do you not? Mm-hmm. Given the choice, like, would you want to know what people are saying or would you not? That is true. Sometimes I would rather not. Just so you know, you're supposed to shake this before opening it. Knowing what I know now, watching back last season, there's no way in hell I would have even encouraged a hug out of Tom and Raquel. I'd have been like, y'all, like, (sighs) stay far the F away. But all I can do for that is learn be a better friend, be a better person. Do you feel like you were often on the wrong side of things in history? You know, (laughs) yeah. Yeah. Hold on, don't blink. Mm. Not that bad. Okay, good, look at you. Um, I mean, I, listen, I'm not perfect, but I feel like I'm, I'm pretty hyper-vigilant. That's why I take my time with people. I don't know, I can only speak to myself, but when I hear constantly, like, like, I've just been miserable, I'm a miserable person, I'm like, wow, that's what you think of me? Was I unhappy in, like, my relationship? And maybe that's, like, what's been sort of coming through, perhaps, but, like, a miserable person is, like, that's a really, like, strong opinion to have of a person. Mm -hmm. How do you think us like doing a show and having the world's eyes on us has like affected us or impacted. I like to have my own constitution and my own set of beliefs and values and like guide that by, you know, and let that guide me, not what the audience. What do you think has been like the craziest or biggest life moment in the last year for you? There's been like, like little personal victories. I think, cause the last year obviously like divorce was finalized and the last like holiday season was like really rough and a struggle, like really rough. But then at the beginning of this year, like when it was like my birthday, like I kind of just had this like turning point where I was just like, everything is like truly gonna be okay. And like, mm-hmm. I just like, I don't know. I've just like finally all of that loss assumption shit just like really started to pay off. Yeah. Honestly, if we could go back in all of the 10, I mean now 11 seasons, I feel like I don't have a lot of regrets because it's like live and learn. Yeah. But one of my biggest regrets, if not probably the biggest of the show was not being there for you last season and not pushing you more and asking more questions because I felt like you needed it and I didn't see that at the time. And I wish that just even as a woman, I was there for you more through your divorce because I know how hard that was for me. And that's been my biggest regret doing this show. That teaches you resilience. Mm-hmm. Agreed. I think. We did it. We did it. Stay all night. Ready? Mm-hmm. Ooh, this smells nice. Right? It's like a spa. It smells so good. Voila. Okay, good? Okay. Yeah. Oh. You got the lines even. That's skill. Did my best. Skillful. Ooh. Yeah. Pretty good. It's just, good as gold just good. Just good? It is. Do you need the SPF too? Yeah. I mean, we're going the same place after this, okay. so. Ready? Close. Tight. Ready, one, two. Beautiful.